today we got a quick and easy one we got this 3d spinny clone transition and transition out if you're anything like me you'd kill to do effects in premiere pro and not after effects i try my hardest to really not open after effects if i really don't have to I just made this effect right now here's what it looks like and here's the examples it's the the nle chopper one and the y and j one we're basically just gonna rip these off real quick. Right here we have a transition in, like a clone effect in, and then for the Y and J one we have a clone out. So I'm gonna do it to this clip right here. We have B-roll of him, and then we're gonna do a clone out. So if you're a fan of my channel, you kind of already know how to do the clone effects, especially the clone transition effects in, but I don't think I ever showed you how the clone transition out, which is pretty much the same thing, but we'll get to it really fast. So I go to the last frame, I like to go to the last frame. I like to duplicate this layer and then make sure it's lined up evenly. And then go ahead, make sure my cursor is still on the last frame. Go ahead, right click, add frame hold. I just like to delete the beginning part and then I'll have this little tiny, tiny little single frame thing. I'm just going to go ahead and hold shift on my keyboard. And then right here where it says step forward one frame, I'm going to click that twice. That will move me 10 frames. And then I'm going to elongate this freeze frame so it's 10 frames long so we have 10 frames and then that will that's how long my uh cut out transition out would be so now we have to do is all we have to do is uh mask him out so make sure your still frame is selected open on effect controls opacity click this little pen tool and then go ahead and mask him out i'm gonna cut this out so see you in a bit All right, so here's how my mask looks, and that's pretty much the animation, 10 frames in it. All right, so now it's time to do the effect. So like I always say, whenever you mask out in Premiere Pro, you're gonna wanna nest the clip, your masked clip. So right click, make sure you select it, right click, nest. This pretty much resets it, and you can pretty much put all the effects you want on your clone out, or your clones, or your mask transitions, your cutout effects, whatever. So the effect is pretty simple. All you need to, go, all you need to do is go to your effects panel, and then type in basic b like b a s basic and then 3d and then boom right here where it says perspective basic 3d go ahead and drag that onto your clone or your cutout and the effect is pretty simple all you need to do is keyframe the swivel or if you want to go crazy you can keyframe the tilt so since we're gonna copy out copy this y and j one let's see it's pretty much that with a little slide down so we can do the exact same thing. So I'm going to keyframe the swivel, make sure I'm on the first frame, keyframe the swivel. I'm gonna go halfway and then I'm going to spin this, let's see, left. So it would be, wait, if I spin it right, yeah, so I'm gonna spin it right. So I'm gonna change this to one X, which would mean positive. So if you look at it, boom, it, it spins one to the right and then it slides down. So I'm going to keyframe the position right here where on my last keyframe when it's done spinning, just go ahead and click position, click this little, and then it'll make a keyframe right here. And then go ahead and go to the end. And I just like to go one frame before and then go ahead and move this Y. Just like that. And then move this to the end. So if you look at it, it'll do something like that. Now this could be a little longer, so I'm going to double click the nest, it'll open up the nested project, go to the beginning, and I'm going to make the, the uh, still frame longer, go back to the music video, and then I'm going to make this five frames longer, and I'm going to make the, the slide down longer, so something like that easy peasy all right and that's basically the tutorial so i'm gonna do the nle chopper one now so i could clone in just so i have more content for you guys all right so this one's pretty simple this one just really just pops up and then swivels and onto uh into a frame so we're gonna do the same thing just with this one so here's my transition boom so make sure you click on your second clip hold alt drag it up it'll make a duplicate make sure your cursor is on the first frame Right click, add frame hold, and then boom, you have a frame hold. I'm gonna do 15 frames because the last one was too short. So I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard, click this button three times right here. One, two, three. I'm gonna split the clip, I delete the excess, and so I'll have a frame hold. Now I need to drag this clip over in front of the, of the uh, second clip, and then now I'll have like that. 
Next thing you want to do is mask it, of course. So make sure your clip, is, your freeze frame is selected. Click this, mask it. I'll see you in uh, five seconds. So I finished masking. Here's my mask. It's okay, but no one can tell where I messed up on. So if you look at it, basic cutout, cutout effect like that. And then now we need to do the effect. So like I say, always nest your cutouts, nest, go back to your effects, basic 3D, drag it onto your nest. And then I'm pretty sure all he did was just a uh, pop up in this swivel. So we can do the same thing. So we're gonna have him pop up. First of all, we're gonna swivel him opposite of what he is. So like, just right, so it'd be minus 180, right? Which would be a complete reflection. So we're gonna type in minus 180 right here on the swivel. Go ahead and keyframe that. And then I think it was a, it took a while for him to actually spin. Nope, he just popped up. I'm gonna have him pop up and then go, go ahead and put your cursor at the end of the nest. Go back to swivel, go ahead and click this. Then we'll have that. And then I'm going to mess with these keyframes. I'm gonna ease out and then ease in. And we'll make it look nicer, just like that. Easy, easy, super easy tutorial. Make sure you guys like, subscribe for more. Be the first ones to find out new effects and support me. Super easy. Peace out later.